Hey, how's it going, Terry? This is Doug Doherty, living in downtown San Diego. Appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch the video that I made for you. Um, this video is going to give you an idea of your presence and your position on Google and the internet as a whole. And it's going to show you if new prospects um, can actually find your service and product that you provide, all right, using the uh, internet, especially Google. Um, so as you can see, we're on one of my business pages, my company's AMP Local. We're experts in web design and SEO specialists. All right, so I just want to jump straight in the video. So I got your inquiry, and I was checking it out. I was doing some research, a lot of research, and um, I noticed that you primarily serve San Diego as a life coach. Okay, so that was the key words that I'm focusing and honing in on here as a life coach. Um, you also provide some other service that it looks like you want to provide for the country. Um, but I'm going to just tell you right off the bat, my recommendation is that we focus your company directly towards San Diego and dominate the market for your services and products for San Diego. Once we do that, we can start um, growing Los Angeles, San Francisco, Sacramento, Phoenix, uh, Seattle, uh, Dallas, New Mexico. And you see what I'm saying? This is how this is how it's done. You can't. It's really difficult to come right out of Dodge, and uh, you know, just start dominating the entire market for a country or the world. Because you're you said you're selling products for the world. Uh, you know, for di well, six different countries. I'm sorry, you listed six six different countries. Um, but the way to do this and to do it the right way is to dominate sector by sector by sector. It's a process. Um, it's going to take some time, but mainly it's going to take some courage and patience, all right? But we, we can get this done. It's definitely doable because I know what needs to be done. All right, you're in, good, you're in great hands. So let me just jump straight into video, okay? I did a uh, marketing audit of your uh, current website, all right? Um, and I'm going to explain some stuff to you that you probably heard before, and you're probably going to hear things that are new to you. So just bear with me. I'm going to cover some basics to give you an understanding why SEO is vital to owning a website. Okay, it's like having, it's like putting fuel and tires on your vehicle. Okay, you need it. You need it to go. All right, you can't just have a website. So here's your website. Eighty percent of people today, actually eighty-two percent. When they need a product or service, they're going to use Google. Google is the most popular way to retrieve information from the internet today. It's not going anywhere. It's going to be here for the next 20, 30 years, guaranteed. Um, so all of the SEO is really based around that with a lot of other marketing strategies. All right. So they're, like I said, they're going to use Google and they're going to type in the city and the service. Okay. So this is the easy way to get found. Uh, when you start dominating local sectors, okay, for your city and service. So to find you for Life Coach, we would have to go and type in um, Life Coach San Diego, okay, for for that service that you provide, which I'm assuming is probably your your major um, revenue source of revenue. I'm pretty sure the music pulls in great revenue too. Um, but this is what you are essentially, and this is the key word that people are going to use on Google to find you, okay? So Life Coach is going to generate in January um, roughly 700,000 searches, okay? That's definitely good. Average is 50,000 per month depending on where you're in the country. You're in a big city, San Diego, 1.4 million people. So there's a lot of Life Coaches. You have competitors here, all right? So you're in a great market. Um, but competition is high and you have to have the right SEO guide to do the work for you. Okay. So I typed in life coach San Diego. I'll be honest. I searched, um, up to the 10 pages. I couldn't find you. Um, this, this is uh, probably doesn't come as a shock. Obviously, you know, you reached out to me and I appreciate that. So I'm going to go over some things why your why prospects and clients can't find you. Um, on, on the, the, the most popular, powerful way to find prospect and to find businesses these, these days. So some quick information. This is your map listings, okay? Definitely want to be in the top here. This is your organic listing starting with number one, okay? So as you can see, you know, Be Alive Coaching is one of your competitors right here, counselor, uh, speaker. All right, and you can see it in the maps. 
So Google has 200 determining factors that it takes into account. It's called Google's algorithm when it's determining who gets the top um, ranks for each search. Okay, I'm not going to talk about all of them. I'll have you here all all day, but I'm just going to talk about four of the very most important ones, the four that are the most impactful that's going to get you up in the ranks immediately. Okay, the first one I want to talk to you about is content. All right, so when I go to your website, do you have authoritative content? All right, and what I mean by that, I mean you mentioning keywords at such as life coach, okay change team you there's so many different things you can say about change and elaborate whatever it is you're trying to sell if it's uh music life coach i already mentioned that um they're all of the the keywords you know motivation speaker um all of these keywords are very very important and the big one that is going to get you in the top rankings for the life coach for san diego because that's where you're primarily trying to sell uh your speakers to or yours as a speaker is in San Diego so you want to mention all of these keywords okay and I could break out a full list of them keywords right here for San Diego um, that people are searching right now okay but life coach is the most popular one you want to be elaborating on that okay 1,000 to 2,000 words on the home page okay you do have a very nice sleek website it's very well put together whoever did this knew what they were doing um, when they when you built your website, you know, I do give them that um, But it's obviously it's definitely lacking in the SEO department. Okay, so you have a Ferrari sitting here with no wheels and no fuel in the tank so Let me show you an example of what I mean by authoritative content. You have great pictures by the way, you know, all that stuff's awesome but Google really wants to see um, Really wants to see the content. Let me show you what that looks like. I went to Google typed in elephant all right, you can do anything. Toolbox, uh, coach, any any single word. I did elephant. Um, look what's number one, Wikipedia. I'm going to click on that real quick. So Wikipedia is notorious for popping up number one. And why is that? Well, when we go to their page, I'm about to show you here in a second, authoritative content. Look at all the information on this page. All right, it's endless. Where elephants come from, the evolution, what do they eat, their habitat, where they come from. What countries are located? Like it's just endless. All right, I'm, I can scroll for days. I'm not. I'm just giving you an example. This is probably thirty thousand plus words. For you to be competitive with your competitors, you need to shoot one thousand to two thousand words on the home page. Okay. But like I said, great site. It's it looks like it's neatly organized. Um, but the content is what's killing you on this one. Okay. Next listings we also call these citations so this these are super super important for the map listings um, this is how we get our name and product out there literally some examples yahoo facebook bing yelp yellow pages white pages um, this is a list of the top 50 that i'm showing you right now when you do them you have to have your business name address and phone number identical if not google's gonna gonna not take you serious and give you a low rank all right and in your case you are not listed at all in the top 50 in the country so google is really not even looking at you you're that's why i couldn't even find you on the on the first 10 pages um so this is this is a major discrepancy I'll be completely honest with you is major right here because all of these listings not only google is not taking you serious if you were listed at least 10 that would actually give you a 10 times better chance because i guarantee you there's people using these listings to find life coaches in San Diego, okay? I said 82% use Google, but the other 18% are coming from like these listings and Bing, which is another search engine that pulls about 3%. Yahoo is the, the second best one at 15%, okay? And Facebook's big too. But people aren't going to Facebook to find a life coach. I mean, maybe, rarely, I mean, but not really. Uh, uh, but yeah, but all these things I guarantee you you want to be in here It's mostly important to show Google that you're serious and that you have a strong presence online with accurate information All right, so that's that Mo Being mobile friendly, all right So 60% of people when they need that product or service, they're actually going to use their their smart device their iPhone or their Android So I did a scan of my Google tool here. And it looks like you are mobile friendly. Okay, like I like I already told you the website looks great it, it just it's striking it, it's very sleek and sexy I, re, I really like it all right but it, it's and it's mobile friendly so 
but it's not going to outdo, this is not going to, you know, outperform for what, and make up for all the other discrepancies. Um, but it's definitely something that Google takes serious, okay? So the fourth final thing I want to talk to you about are backlinks. We also call these influence pages, okay? So say um, you have an organization that you go speak with, you know, and you motivate their employees and uh, or you provide great relationship uh coaching uh, and some of the the coaching that you do or you maybe create a new soundtrack uh, for some uh, for a church or something of that nature that you do all right thoroughly impressed with the service which I'm sure you get all the time I'm sure you have a great product and service um, you just need the exposure um, and they say they have a website blog they're a blogger they write blogs or they write articles they'll actually go to their website or their blog and write an article and then um, explain uh, to all their readers and want to recommend you okay and they'll actually link your website to that article so anyone reading that article will actually be able to click the link and go directly to your website not only this is that this is great for you because you get a new prospect that's coming with money to spend but in Google's eyes it sees this as a vote okay it's just like the presidency or when the mayor runs for mayor or all the all the cabinet in the uh, government um, the more votes you have the more chances you are to win, right? So the more votes you have on Google, the more backlinks you have, more influence pages you have, the more likely you're going to have a higher rank, okay? So let me explain what these numbers are in front of you. There's a bunch of them. I just want you to look at two. This one right here, your TF, your trust flow, which is at seven, and your unique domains, which is at three, okay? So this is saying that there was three websites or three articles or three blogs that um, someone had posted and linked to your website okay but okay that's great and all but here's the thing you actually want to turn you want to put like four like three two more threes next to that you want to have three four hundred okay and that takes nothing but time trust flow seven let me show you this chart so this shows you the quality of those domains. Okay, you have your low, medium, and high. The seven, I would actually put that seven in a low quality website, okay? Because you meet medium when you hit 15, and then high is 20, okay? What I do is I actually purchase high quality domains, and then I write legitimate and professional articles about your product or service, and I directly link your website to my article. All right, so that when Google, when someone searched for life coach or uh, music producer or what have you, whatever those keywords are, which we will um, uh, utilize and make sure that they're definitely um, big in your website, whenever someone searches those, Google will be able to scan, they scan all of the relevant websites and they'll be able to see your votes. They'll be able to see your influence. All right, so over time, we will get you hundreds and hundreds of these, all right? And they're all, all of the ones that I do, they're 25 to 30 trust flow, okay? So automatically, the first one you get is gonna average out over 20 because they're so powerful, all right? So with that being said, um, you know, I, I really appreciate the time you took to this. I thank you for reaching out to me. Um, I know that you've had some bad experiences in the past with some SEO guys, you know, and they took your money promised you things, but I, I can almost, I, I'm pretty sure that I've already done more for you than what they, they have by just making this video. Um, so, uh, I've included my, you have my name, you have my number, you have my, uh, email address. Okay. I put a proposal in my products and services in there. Please review that stuff. Um, and you know, get back to me. I'm not sure, you know, how much you turn over monthly, um, for your products and your services, but I'm definitely sure that it's worth a monthly charge for some great SEO work, you know, to, to guarantee and secure the future prosperity of your business. So keep that in mind, review all that stuff. I'd love to get back to you. I'd love to actually meet with you. I know you were stoked because I'm actually living in San Diego and you live in San Diego and we just figured that out earlier. So awesome. So I'd love to have a meeting with you grab some coffee and uh, to talk this over. All right. So again, thanks for your time. You have a great day.